One thing that was clear during this morning's procession was just how many lives J.R. Stewart touched. People lined the streets, the church, and the cemetery to honor the longtime officer. J.R. Stewart's final ride was on a motorcycle, just as he would have wanted. Uh, he spent 35 years as an officer. Uh, most of the time he was uh, one of our motor officers uh, with our traffic department. Law enforcement agency from across New Mexico followed Stewart's body. The procession stopped briefly at the Las Cruces Police Headquarters. Normally people, when somebody passes away, uh, people always bring out the good stuff. With JR, it's impossible to find a bad thing to say about him. He was the cop that every department should have. The procession then continued to St. Genevieve's Catholic Church, where the crowd grew even more. He was a mentor to many of our officers. He was the godfather to many of our officers' children. Um, and as I said, he's going to be missed by, by many people for a long time. Finally, the hearse was brought to St. Joseph's Cemetery. He was the kind of police officer friend that you didn't shy away from. That speaks volumes. For one last time, Stewart's name filled police airways. JR, we love you. Rest now, and we will take you from here. Central dispatch is clear. December 2nd, 2017, at 11.59 hours. Resume normal traffic on this channel. A loved one to so many in southern New Mexico. J.R. Stewart, a great representative of the city. Daniel Allen Lowell and Trista Marie Schlafly, the man and woman charged after the high-speed chase that resulted in the death of Stewart, remain jailed at the Doniana County Detention Center without bond. Mauricio Casillas, ABC7.